So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this with script. You won't be needing any add-ons, just basic script for this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your text editor of your choice. Mine is Visual Studio Code. You're going to want to start by doing unjoin. Then you're going to want to start a loop while player is online. So this will run as long as the player is online on the server. Then this is where we set the actual tab. So set tab header to, and we can just set this to test for now. And, and footer to test or player. Then at the end of this, we're going to wait one second. This is just so it doesn't crush the server by running infinitely without delay. Now we're going to quickly test this. So just copy this to your minor dashboard. So go over to file manager, plugins, scroll down to script, scripts, and then create a script called tab.sk. Just paste it in there and hit save. Now to activate the script, you have to do slash sk reload tab or whatever you name the script. Then once it's reloaded, you have to rejoin your server. Now, if you press tab, as you see, it says test above and test underneath. Okay, cool. So to hop back into your text editor. So in the header, I'm just gonna put my server. So you can change my server to whatever the name of your server is. Then before and after, I'm just gonna paste this Unicode here and this one here. It's just a nice touch. It makes it seem a bit unique. So this is a hex code. This is just another way to do a color. It's a lot more custom than just doing this, which would just be gold, and this would just be green. This you can customize properly. I'll leave a link in the description to a hex code editor uh, in which you can just make a hex code and paste it in here. And then I'm just going to make it bold. Now before and after, I'm going to do percentage in our percentage. Basically, you can either type this or do new line, but it's just quicker to do in our. Basically, this just means it will create a new line at this space. So there will be an empty line before and after this header. I'm going to do another open line then i'm gonna paste the color in again i'm gonna do a line and then in white players this again then another open line and at in white i'm gonna do so percentage player count percentage this will show the amount of online players at your server at a given time and then in gray slash and then in white again i'm gonna put the max players of your server and then just another new line so let's copy paste this into your minor dashboard. Hit save again. Get back onto Minecraft. Slash SK reload tab. Now you're going to want to rejoin one more time. Now if you press tab, it should say my server and then the amount of players online at a given time. And now we're going to work on the footer. So here I'm just going to make a little stats thing. So I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm going to make this line in the green color. Then stats and then the green again with the line. I'm going to make a new line and then the color again. And then the color again, kills, colon, and then in white, we're going to make a variable here, kills, and then the player's UUID. And now we can just copy paste this line, paste it one more time, and change kills to deaths. Then here we're going to leave two open lines, and then this is where we're going to put in gray the server's IP. Then we're going to do this, this basically just makes it underlined and in italics, so my server dot minehut dot gg you can make this whatever ip your server is so let's say this is hypixel you would put play dot hypixel dot net and then just leave another open line okay now before we copy this into our minor dashboard we have to fix a few things so you need to actually put these variables to use so just copy one of them and go down here on death the clacker is a player add one to and then we can change the place uid to attack is UUID. Now I can just copy paste this. Now you can change the victim as a player and then change attacker to victim. Now for this, this is going to add one to the kills of the player for every kill, even animal kills. So if you want to make this so it's only player kills, you can do victim is a player. But for now, I'm just going to make it include animal kills. So to actually set these variables from the player first joins, so before this last percentage sign, we're just going to put a space, question mark, and then zero. So basically, this means if this variable is not set, then set it to zero. So you can just copy paste this and add it to this too. And one more thing, before stats, just add another new line. Now we can copy this whole thing and head over to your minor dashboard. Paste it in and hit save. Slash sk reload tab and rejoin. Now if you open tab, it should say your server name with the amount of players online at a given time, then it should say your kills and your deaths, and then your server IP. Let's just quickly test the kills and deaths, so let me summon a cow quickly, and just get a sword. 
Okay, when I kill it, my kills went up by one. Okay. So let me just test the deaths by just slash killing myself. And then my deaths go up by one. Okay, cool. If you need any help with scripting, or this script in particular, or you want to give me any video suggestions, just join my Discord server, I linked it in the description, and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, cool. Cheers.